Hi, it's Charlotte, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I've got a huge Shein sort of spring summer clothing haul for you. I did a Shein clothing haul in the autumn time, but it was all sort of like jumpers and knitted and autumn clothing. So I've never really tested out their spring and summer stuff and like their bikinis. And I keep seeing everyone doing Shein hauls, which just gave me the fever. That's what I've got today, and I've got quite a lot to go through. So if you'd like to see the spring slash summer Shein clothing haul, then please carry on watching. There is so much to go through. This might be a long video. I apologise if it is. Probably will be. <laughs> Firstly, it's something that... I've got quite a lot of things in my Shein wish list that I saw in Kelsey Simone's last Shein haul, but I think most of them are out of stock, so this was the only thing from her haul that I think was in stock. And it's this like white shirt dress with like, I think it's like French writing written all over it. It's very like Parisian vibes, and it sort of cinches in at the middle, and I thought this looked so cute online. However, I just think, one, it's a little bit too big for me, because I think they didn't do an extra small, and two, it's just, I don't know. I think it's just, it's super creased, so I would have to iron it every time I wore it. And it definitely needs a belt because it's too big. Yeah, I don't know. Part of me really, really likes it and would want to make it work. But the other part of me is just like, maybe it's just the no. But I mean, I do really like the design and I think it's like a fine quality. I just, yeah, I'm not sure about the sizing. I'm not really like an ironing kind of girl, so. I kind of wouldn't want something that would crease so easily and it already came pretty creased. I had a discount code on my whole order so everything was cheaper than it like it says on the website. So that I got for £10.45 which isn't bad at all but yeah I'm not too sure if I want to keep this. Next I got this yellow ribbed sort of like mini dress and it's like a bodycon and I absolutely love this shade of yellow. I am very tempted to keep this, not gonna lie. So this was £5.58 and I got this in an extra small and yeah, it fit perfectly. I thought it was really cute. The only thing I'd say is maybe it was like a tiny, tiny bit see-through, but that's pretty much it. And I'm just trying to decide if I'd get the wear out of this because I'm not sure. I don't wear a lot of dresses like this, but I do really love the shade of yellow. It's super cute and like a really nice basic dress. Okay, this next one is a co-ord and I actually think this might be my favourite thing out of this whole haul. I was so impressed by this. As soon as I took it out of the packaging, I was like, this is so soft, and I think I'm gonna be obsessed with this. <laughs> so it has this little white sort of crop top. I don't know if you can tell, but it is cropped, and it has two little cute pockets, and I absolutely love these kind of like black and gold buttons. It's just so soft. I also love that it's got this sort of like polo neck as well, and I just think it's so cute. And then it comes with this little white mini skirt with pockets on the back as well. And I was obsessed with this. Honestly, I wish you could feel it because it's so soft and feels like amazing quality. So I got that in a size small and yeah, I actually think that fit really well. Usually in Shein, the size extra small is better for me. But yeah, I thought the small fit perfect. And I got that for £13.23 which I'm not gonna lie, I would happily pay like 50 pound for this from like Zara or something. So I was really impressed with this set. Okay, so the next thing I got was this like, like lime minty green cardigan. This was actually one of the first things that was just a one size, which is always a little bit scary when it says that because you're thinking, how can something be one size? But there we go. And this was also 13 pound 23. So it looks like this. And it's so cute. It's like a short sleeve chunky knit with these like huge buttons. And again, like the co-ord set, it is so soft and cozy. And actually for me, this fit perfectly. I don't know how to tell you like what sizing it would fit. I mean, it is really stretchy. So I do understand, kind of understand the one size, but I mean, but it might not fit everyone. I don't know about that. I think one size is a bit silly sometimes. I do think this is really cute and I'm obsessed with the colour. I'm trying to like, I've already kept like a green cardigan, this kind of colour from Zara and I'm like, do I need more green cardigans? Probably not, it is super cute. <laughs> Next I got a cute little pyjama set so I felt like I couldn't do such a huge haul without at least getting one set of pyjamas. So they are these little pastel tie-dye frilly shorts which are just so adorable. I just think they're so cute. I can't get over them and the quality is really nice as well. 
I thought they fit really well and they, yeah, they just make me feel like a little unicorn really and I don't really have any pyjamas like this so I just think these are so cute and then this is the little top which again has like frills on the bottom and I just love it, it's so cute and this was only £8 and one pence, which is actually insane like I can't get over prices at Shein especially when it's like good quality I got a size small in these and like I said they fit perfectly, both are quite like stretchy and have room so I do kind of wish I'd ordered more pyjamas now because they were really cute <laughs> right so the next one's a top and I feel like I've seen so many people wearing this style of top but like from different places and some places have been selling these for like quite expensive and it's like this little beige frilly top but instead of all down the middle there being buttons there's like white pearls which I just think are really cute and I do love pearls in like jewellery, accessories and clothing and yeah I just don't feel like I have any tops like this I think it's really cute like the frills everywhere I'm not usually a frilly kind of clothing person but I do really like this oh and another thing to say that the pearls kind of stop here and then they sort of go out and it kind of like shows off your belly button if you're into that <laughs> and that top was £11.49 again like I think it's just so good and I got that in a size small next I have another co-ord um, I'm not as sure about this one compared to the last one this is actually from their supposed premium collection I actually am trying to think about whether the other one was hmm the other one wasn't from their premium collection um, and this one was which is interesting but so basically it's this canvas like boxy crop top in this like dusky mauve kind of pink and as you can see this is creased to the heck so I'm not gonna lie it was quite hard to imagine it when it was on me but it is quite like a canvassy material which isn't my favourite kind of thing to wear um, I just don't really like the feel of like a canvassy material on me and yeah it was a lot darker than I thought it would be as well I think and this isn't really my colour it also came with these trousers yeah they look like this I must say though that the whole co-ord fit really well I got this in an extra small and the trousers fit perfectly and the top as well fit really well I just don't think it's really my style and it was just so creased that I just you wouldn't be able to wear it like that you definitely have to iron it so that was £17.42 because it was from their premium collection I think but if I'm gonna be honest I felt like the white co-ord was more premium and better quality than this one so yeah it's a bit weird <laughs> right next I've got a little sporty co-ord as I basically I've been for a while wanting like a little set for if I want to do some workouts or if I want to like I don't know because at the moment like during lockdown if I've ever done like little workouts I've kind of just had to be in my pajamas because I don't really own anything like that so I saw this and thought it was quite cute and like not too expensive and it's these like yellow shorts and they have like white stripes down the side it's kind of like <laughs> knockoff adidas yet yeah, they're really cute and then you get the matching crop top with again the white stripes down the side and yeah I just thought this was really cute and if you just wanted a little like yoga slash exercise little co-ord then this could be quite nice or even just to lounge around the house you don't actually have to exercise in them but yeah I have been loving yellow at the moment it's an unstoppable force of yellow that I can't manage and as soon as I see cute yellow things I have to buy them so there we go so this was a size small I do feel like on the model though it looks a little bit more tight fit on her but that's probably just because she has more curves than me but um, it was a little bit more baggier on me but I didn't mind and this was £8.71 which I think for a little sporty co-ord is quite a bargain. The next top I got, oh it's actually undone so I'm sorry if this doesn't show very well. Um, I actually bought this because of Jordan Lipscomb's last Shein haul. She showed this in her haul. Um, I'm not going to lie, I love Jordan Lipscomb but her style isn't usually my style I kind of just watch her for her personality but when she tried this on I actually thought that is kind of cute so I did buy it and it's this like satiny balloon pastel tie-dye shirt <laughs> and I just thought like Jordan looks so cute in it however I just the plunge is just too much for me there's like a huge plunge in like the middle of the top and if it wasn't for that I think I'd keep it because it's so beautiful and I actually think it's really nice quality 
but yeah, because of the plunging neckline, I'm like, I don't think I could work it. So I got this in extra small and yeah, I thought it fit fine. I mean, if you got bigger boobs, it might help you out with the plungingness because for me, it was just a bit of blank skin. <laughs> but, and then that was £10.80, which I actually think it's quite a bargain because it's such a nice top. I feel like Topshop could be selling this or something because it's so nice. <laughs> right, so for this next dress, I'm gonna go against what I've been saying, which is that I don't like wearing things that are canvassy because this is made of that canvassy material, but I think it's so flipping adorable that I might just keep it anyway. <laughs> it's this really beautiful, like, bluey green summery dress with, like, flowers all over it. And I just don't have anything like this. I just don't... For a reason i don't usually wear dresses like this like really summery dresses usually if i'm wearing a summery dress it's just going to be like plain white i just think this is so adorable and i really want to keep this it's so cute i thought it fit absolutely perfectly um i got that in a size extra small and it was eight pound 36 just can't i feel like it's i probably said this in my last haul it's like primark prices in fact no some of this is cheaper than primark but it's like a better quality than Primark. Some of the stuff I literally wouldn't mind finding in Zara or Topshop, you know? It's just good stuff. <laughs> so this is the next dress and it's basically just this plain short sleeve, gray, long, like, I wanna say like midi dress. Like it's not super long or super short. And it's got this little V here, which just gives it a little bit of detail. And it says Paris. <laughs> if you've been watching my fashion hauls over the last few months, you'll have known that I've bought like at least two jumpers that just say Paris on it as a slogan. And I wear those so much, like it's bad. It's bad how much I wear them just because it says Paris on them. But it's true, when it does, when something says Paris on it, it automatically makes me wear the piece of clothing a lot. And I really, really want to keep this. <laughs> Even though I've just recently kept like a grey oversized t-shirt dress, which, I mean, it's like the oversized version of this. This is the bodycon version. And I'm like, do I need another grey dress? No, but I do want to keep it. <laughs> this was in a size extra small. And again, like I said, it fit perfectly. And this was £5.93. It's just mad. Some of these prices are actually mad. How cute are these? When I first tried these on, I mean, they're so cute. Can I just say first that I got these in a extra small. They fit perfectly. I think they're such a good material, such good quality. And when I first put these on, I was like, they're so cute. I have to keep these. But since then, I have thought it over. They are frayed at the ends and I'm just not usually a frayed person at all. It's not really my style. And I do think I'm just being swept away by the cute daisies on the shorts. I don't know how much I would actually wear them. Because I basically, my Zara shorts are like this, without the phrase, without the daisies, and I just feel like they would go with more, and I don't think I need to keep these. But, do I recommend them? Yes. They are so cute. If you think you would get all the wear out of these, please buy these because they're so cute. They really are. But like, for me, personally, they're an Instagram photo and then I'm done with them. And that's just the way it is. That sounds so savage. <laughs> these were £10.80. Oh my lord, that is so good. <laughs> so the next thing is this super cute, oh it looks even better on camera. Ooh, okay. This like super cute like pistachio green, like a little frilly cute milkmaid top I guess, and it's got a little bow in the middle as well. And this was adorable. It fit like a glove, it's so cute. Why didn't I want to keep this again? I'm trying to remember. It is very green. I think it's greener than I thought it would be. And I'm kind of trying to tell myself, I wouldn't get that much wear out of it, which is probably true to be fair. It is super cute. Um, and that was, I got that in extra small and it was £6.96 and I just think it was so cute. I'm pretty sure they did this in other colours as well. I mean that's probably the same for a lot of these clothes. Right, so this next top is like this little cropped shirt which looks like the sky. I don't know what it is but when I see people wearing things that look like, well, I mean, it's basically like light blue and white tie dye, but it looks like the sky and something about me is drawn to it because obviously I don't usually wear blue, but the fact that it looks like the sky, that's why I was drawn to this and I thought it was so cute. I have managed to convince myself that this isn't my style and it's not. This style of top isn't my style and neither is the colors. 
think it is really really adorable and super cute um i got this in extra small and i thought it fit really nicely it's not like a really thick shirt but i mean it's like it's fine you know it does the job <laughs> And um, this was £10.45. It's not my style, I just need to keep telling myself that. <laughs> so this next top I got in a size small and I'm not gonna lie, on the model it looked like more tight fit and it wasn't super tight fit on me but I did still think it fit nicely and this was £3.84. So this was like a super bargain and it's like this yellow and pinky blue tie-dye like little crop tank top and I thought this was so cute. Again not my usual style but because it is mainly yellow, I feel like it might be okay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying it'll be okay when it's my wardrobe, but like, I feel like because it's mainly yellow, I will get more wear out of it than if it was like a different tie-dye color. And I did think that was really cute. And it's like really soft as well. Next, I got this cute little satin cami, which it looks so cute. And honestly, this fit so perfectly. I was really impressed with the quality as well. Yeah, I just think this would be so cute with a pair of like dark blue denim jeans. Yes. The only thing that makes me sh not sure whether to keep it is I was hoping it'd be more yellow than gold. When I look at it, I kind of just see gold. I mean, on camera, it just looks like a yellowy gold. The fact that it looks a bit gold, like, I'm not sure if it looks a tiny bit tacky, but I do like that like, the top bit, so obviously where your, your boobs go, it's like double layered, which is like quite nice because I mean, I don't know, maybe you're about to go brass with this, so that's nice. <laughs> That was £4.53. So again, for these like slightly smaller crop tops, like they're even cheaper, which is really nice. Next, I've got a little white sort of like, I think it's off the shoulder. I think you can wear it either way. A little like milkmaid puff dress. And this was one of the first things that I tried on. Felt a bit like a child in this. Like I think it made me look like I was like five years old. Or I don't know what it was about it. There's just something I really didn't like about it. I don't really know what else to say apart from, because it fit fine, like it fit perfectly. I got this in an extra small and it was £11.50. It fit perfectly, the colour's lovely, it looks nice, but it just didn't look right. There was something wrong about it. Um, that's not very helpful. But I mean, hopefully if you see the try on clip, Maybe it just doesn't suit me. I don't even know what's wrong with it. I just don't know. I just didn't like that. So I don't know about anyone else or if it's just my Instagram ads, but I get recommended this top every day, like every hour or every day. And I don't know why, but I mean, I guess they do know me a little bit because I mean, I did think it looked really cute. So it's like this yellow fluffy knitted vest with like like pressed flowers all over it so i got this in a small and it was 13 pound 23 and it's a really nice quality i just can't decide of how i'd wear it i don't know how would you wear this i'm not too sure i really liked it i thought it was really cute not with the shorts i'm really sorry by the way i paired everything with those shorts because it was the only bottom that i like bought so i'm by no means saying all of these tops go with the daisy shorts. I think I need to like experiment a bit with this and see what I can pair it with because I did think it was really really cute. Yeah I don't know but at the same time I'm like it's yellow and flowers but it's a knitted vest. Would I wear yellow and flowers in the autumn? Because I mean I'm not too sure. Right I do now want to talk about a few bikinis which I don't have trial clips for. I'm sorry I'm just not that confident so I'm just going to talk about them and how they fit and stuff. So I'm not going to lie none of these I actually really disliked at all. The first set I got in a size small and these were £6.96. You sort of get this little triangle bra in this like orangey, orange and green tie dye which is like I don't know I feel like I didn't think it looked like this orange on the website and you can see the green more and i feel like you can see the green more on the bottoms hopefully and so yeah i think these were really cute and fit lovely but i just didn't realize how orange they would be so i'm probably not going to keep that set and then this next set was this sort of like blue and white striped like bandeau with these like little i don't know what you call these like they go off the shoulders and i thought that was such a cute little style and it's got a little bow in the middle as well and then the bottoms are so adorable oh they're so cute i can't get over the little bottoms and like the little frilly bits it's so cute so i got those in a small as well and they were seven pound 31 again like the bottoms fit really well except for the top i don't know what it is can you see here that like one cup so this side i think it was 
is like a little bit, I think like the inside, the material, the cup or something is a bit deformed or something because something didn't look quite right when I tried it on. And I don't know if it's just like a one-off, but I would swear that, oh my God, it is as well. You see that one side, the material is bigger than the other. This side has got too much material. I knew it wasn't just me. I'm not sure about that one. Okay, this next set, I think is the winner winner. I just think it is. And okay, so going back to my little obsession with tie dye that looks like the sky. Tie dye that looks like the sky. Yeah, look, tell me that you don't want to be wearing this on the beach. Like, tell me, because oh my God, it looks even better on camera. Okay, calm down, Charlotte, okay. What's even better, <laughs> sorry. So I got that in a size small for £5.58. You get two different bottom options. Can you even work out how much each thing is for £5.58? That means like each one of these is like £2 each. So, <laughs> so first you have your normal, your basic, bottoms, simples, really super easy. I don't know why I'm saying easy. What are they easy for? And then you have probably my favourite ones. Uh, they sort of match a bit more to the, like the strappy bits on the top. And I just, I'm gonna have to keep this. I mean, I just have to. That is, mm, I mean, I know blue isn't usually my colour, but on the beach, it's gonna be so cute. <laughs> okay, the next set I'm actually also quite impressed by. And now, so the reason I bought this, the reason I bought this, I've been eyeing up this pretty much exact bikini on Opoly. And obviously on Opoly, it's about, what, 30, 40 pounds. I swear they're using the same pictures, or if not, they literally look identical. So I'm gonna pop a picture of the Opoly bikini here for you to see a comparison but it's basically like this neon green and bubblegum pink bikini top and then you get the bottoms as well and you feel like a little strawberry and mint chocolate ice cream these fit so nice and I kid you not it literally looks like you're wearing the Opoly one and she and do like the other colors as well that Opoly do so no tea, no shade, but I mean, if you want those bikinis, maybe get them off Shein, because yeah, these are £5.93. Again, I got a size small, if I didn't already say, but I'm also quite tempted to keep these. Right, I'm now gonna talk about some random bits, in case you're interested. I got quite a lot of phone cases. So the first phone case I got was this one, which is kind of like green with like these plasticky stripes, I guess. Um, I do wish I'd got more colours of this because I really like this style of phone case. But yeah, I just thought it was really cute and I really liked this shade of green. So this was £2.44. I can't with the prices of some of these phone cases. That is just insane. I then got this houndstooth one for £2.79. And this is probably the only one that I'm not too sure about. I didn't realise it would be like a fabric phone case. And I'm not as keen on it as I thought I'd be. But I mean, I do still think it's like a really cute design. I then got this like ice blue phone case which was £2.10 and it's actually on my phone at the moment and it's got like a frosted bit here which I think is really cute and I really want this in all the colours because it's such a cute phone case. I just can't get over that they're all like £2, like actually insane and they're really good quality so I'm tempted to get a phone case from Shein, I really recommend it, just saying. I also found this cloud print phone case for £2.44. I love to always have like a clear phone case as an option and I think this just makes it even cuter. I then also got this like fake Apple logo phone case for £3.14. So it's still in the packaging because I think this is one of the only ones that you can take out. So I don't know if you can return it if you take it out of this. And I wasn't too sure because I really liked this shade of yellow. But when it came, like the dark yellow and the apple, I wasn't too sure about. So, I mean, let me know what you think. I do think it's a really good dupe, though. Some other random things I got were these avocado plasters. Oh, I don't know if you can even see those. It looks really bright. I'm going to try and get some of them out so that you can see. But yeah, these are the avocado plasters that you get, which is super cute. And those were £2.44. So I just thought, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, really. I then, for £2.44, got this cute little white tape measure. This seems really random, but I do often find myself in need of a tape measure and I just can't find one. And I thought this was like a cute little mini one that I could keep for myself. And next, I got this little cute four-piece cutlery set. This was £1.75 and I got the cute, like, beigey one. 
and you basically get like chopsticks, a fork and a spoon and I just think that is really really cute and like I don't know if you're going somewhere to eat and you don't want to be using their cutlery especially at the moment to be fair it's just a nice little thing that you could just take around in your bag so I thought it was super cute. So last but not least I got some bandanas this one was £3.49 and I think this one is really cute so it looks like this and I'm kind of just imagining wearing it like over my head like a little head band or like a scarf or I don't know but I just thought this was really cute and it's really soft actually so I think I'm definitely gonna keep this one and then I got this polka dot one which was £2.44 it's just like this black and white polka dot I also think this is quite cute so I think I might actually keep both I'm not too sure I might play around with them both and see which one I prefer I, I guess I don't need both and I got those two as well so there we go that is the end of my Shein clothing haul Altogether, I actually think this was pretty successful. I liked a lot of stuff and I actually think I'm going to be keeping quite a bit more than I did in my last Shein clothing haul. Yeah, I was quite surprised by a lot of these bits. I kind of, I thought I'd be surprised in the opposite way. Like I thought I'd not like a lot, but I instead liked a lot. Yeah, let me know what you thought of this video and if you enjoyed it. But yeah, I'll try and link everything down below in the description box for you and hopefully most of this stuff is in stock. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up. And also to leave a comment down below if there's anything that you bought from this video or anything that this video has inspired you to buy. And if you're not already subscribed, please don't forget to down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.